Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and it's wheat time. I love wheat time. And what's the what's one of the questions I always get? So hey Peter, this is a pretty nice wheat field. What you think it's gonna yield? Ah, oh, come on. It doesn't matter what I say, I'll be wrong. And by the way, we're gonna talk about how we estimate wheat yield, and you go out there and do it, and I will guarantee you will be wrong because these formulas never work. We always overestimate. Here's a number that you need to keep in your head or write down. 0.0016. That's the constant, all right? Decimal 0.0016. What do you do? You go out to the field and you count the number of heads in one square foot of your field. Now, in seven and a half inch rows, one square foot is 19.2 inches. So 19 and a quarter inches. So I measure my 19 and a quarter inches and I count the number of wheat heads that I have in that 19.2 inches. If it's 12 inch rows, you guys in Western Canada with your 12 inch rows, well, 12 inches or what 12 inch row is one square foot. In 10 inches, it's 14.4 inches. You can do the math, you can figure that out no matter what the row width. All right, let's say I have 60 heads. That's a pretty standard number for Johnson in Ontario. 60 heads in my one square foot of row. So now, the next thing is how many kernels per head? And you can count the number of florets. I mean, gosh, we can pull this head out and we can count the number of florets. Or once it gets further on, you can actually shell them and you can look at how many kernels you have on average per head. I often, in Ontario, get about 35 kernels in a head. Sometimes more, maybe 40, 42. Pretty rare that we get much more than that. In Western Canada, I do a lot of shelling. It's often 30, 32 kernels per head. So I have 60 stems, 60 heads, I have 35 kernels, and then I have to guess at my test weight, my thousand kernel weight. Again in Ontario, oftentimes 35 grams per thousand kernels. So the math then becomes number of heads per square foot, 60, times number of kernels per head, 35, times the thousand kernel weight. Again, I'm going to use 35 because that's an average if I have high test weight wheat, if I get to 40, it changes the, the yield. That's why you're always wrong. But if I do 60 times 35 times 35 times my constant, 0 decimal 0016, I'll end up with 117 bushels per acre. And that's not a bad yield number for a really good wheat stand here in Ontario. With that, I hope that helps you figure out how to guess what your wheat field's going to yield. I actually think you're almost just as good if you walk in, look over the field and say, yeah, I think that field's going to yield 102. Have a nice day. Grow wheat.